Uh, middleweight bout here, Armin Petrosian. So two Armins on this card. Armin Petrosian coming in at plus 130 against Christian Leroy Duncan coming in at minus 130. Over under two and a half rounds. Minus 115 for the over. Plus 115 for the under. The undefeated Christian Leroy Duncan coming in here. After getting a uh, TKO win in his debut, which was actually an injury by Dusko Todorovic. He blew his knee out in the first round. And uh, Petrosian coming in here, he was on the UFC 280 card against AJ Dobson and got uh, pretty much a, a 30-27 win there. Just kind of kickboxed him. Um, and he's coming in here. I mean, probably fighting another body type like an AJ Dobson in Christian Leroy Duncan, who's an athletic. Uh, he's going to use his movement pretty well. Uh, flying knees, you know, jumping attacks, just explosive movements, quick hands. Uh, and Petrosian, a very, very solid kickboxer as far as, you know, points, point fighting goes. He's got some good KO power as well. So it's probably going to be a stand-up battle. Neither guy has ever shot a takedown, and uh, I don't expect them to in this one. So it's a stand-up battle. Petrosian sitting at plus 130 against the – I would honestly – call it somewhat of a debut for Christian Leroy Duncan because he didn't really get to fight too much against Dusko. And I got to say, I'm kind of leaning Petrosian because Leroy's coming in here. That first fight was in London, and this time he's going to have to fly all the way to Vegas because he, he trains in the UK, I believe. Uh, you know, big, long-time Cage Warriors fighter. So he's going to have to fly all the way to Vegas, and then he's going to fight in front of no crowd. Like, it might be a little bit of a different feeling for him. So I'm going to go with Petrosian in this one uh, because of all those factors, and I think he's just a little bit more seasoned as far as MMA and combat sports go. I know Christian Leroy Duncan's been an uh, athlete for a while. Um, so I'm going to go. What do you think? Yeah, I'm actually on the same side as you for a couple of reasons. Like, I've watched all of Armin's fights, like dating back to the Contender Series when he got the big knockout, like an on-the-feet, He's really slick. And, you know, you look at him out there, he almost looks like, um, I mean, not exactly style wise, but he looks like Benil Dariush out there. Like, he's not this huge jack dude or, you know, throwing these crazy shots or anything, but he's super technical at times. He lands six significant strikes per minute, which is really high. And he only gets hit with 2.75 with a 58% striking defense. So it's kind of hard to hit him. He's kind of elusive on the feet. And he can rack the volume up, too, if the fight plays out on the feet over a duration of three rounds. I mean, against A.J. Dobson, 118 strikes landed. Against RoboCop, Gregory Rodriguez, 127 strikes landed to uh, RoboCop, 61. And he even got taken down twice in that fight, so he showed he can get back to his feet. The only time he really struggles is against grapplers. Like, you know, even on the Contender Series fight, he was taken down a handful of times and ended up finding that knockout. And uh, against Kyle Barallo, you know, he got taken down four times and lost that, um, uh, yeah, by unanimous decision. But in that fight, I mean, Kyle didn't really do anything. He landed 12 strikes. I mean, that's it, 12 strikes to Armin's 31. And like I said, just got taken down four times. But I don't see him having that problem here with Christian Leroy Duncan. Um, and for Duncan, man, I, he's had some great knockouts, some great wins, you know, in Cage Warriors. But at the same time, like, some of the guys he's beating aren't exactly UFC caliber or UFC level. So it's almost like, for me, I haven't seen enough of him in a promotion like the UFC to be confident to lay my money against a guy like Armin who's going to want this fight on the feet and who has showed he has the volume, he's hard to hit, and he's got some power too. So, um, yeah, if you're going to give me dog money on the guy with more UFC experience, guys who are fighting, you know, he hasn't exactly had a uh, – Armin hasn't exactly had an easy road in his first – three UFC fights, Gregory Rodriguez, Kyle Barallo, and AJ Dobson, who's probably is, you know, the lesser opponent of the other two. So yeah, man, I think, I think this is a good fight either way, but I do see Armin having a slight advantage on the feet unless Christian Leroy Duncan is just the truth. And we just don't know it yet. Yeah. I just look at it this like he's, everybody wants to take him down when they get in there with him. Like all of the opponents have gotten him down uh, a couple times. And the only one that beat him because they got him down was Kyle Barrio, who's like a, a stud on the ground. Like once he gets you to the ground, like you're you're pretty much done. You're going to yeah. be there. Uh, I don't see Christian Leroy Duncan pulling that off in this one. 
Um, so I guess unless he he KOs Petrosian, I just think he's going to outwork him and and probably win a decision uh, if it, if it makes it there. Probably will.